Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do here is head back over to the West Clog Town. This, uh, this video is probably going to be still consumed with side questing around Clock Town here, so I'm uh, getting familiar with it. Uh, let's talk to the banker again. I'm actually going to deposit all my rupees real quick. So, uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to give me the speech again because I withdrew all my rupees before, so it's acting like I haven't been here yet, but... Okay, so let's uh, deposit our 77 rupees, and he'll stamp us again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, he wasn't even close to me there, but whatever. Okay, so uh, now what I'm going to do is actually head back over to East Clock Town, because there is a chest we can get that's going to fill up our wallet once again. There are actually two of them here in Clock Town. Um, I'm going to get one of them now, and uh, probably one of them right after. Uh, so, you know, since we can't hold more than 99 at a time, they both contain 100 rupees, so we're going to have to kind of go back to the bank in between. Uh, but the first one that's uh, pretty easy to get to, actually, um, we're going to come around this side and go up. And now we can jump across this gap. If you do a roll and jump, that'll make you jump further. Uh, then we can jump on these two things on either side and get over here. We climb on up and make our way back around. And you can see this chest right here, which, as I've already said, has 100 rupees for us. So, yeah, that one's pretty easy to get. And the good thing about these chests is that whenever you uh, play the Song of Time, then it actually respawns the chest as well. So you can pretty much just uh, fill up your wallet, reset time, fill up your wallet, reset time sort of thing. Um, well, as long as you make sure to deposit them, of course. But um, it's a very quick way to get money, and we're actually going to need to get a lot of it here soon. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to him again. Actually, no way. I'm not going to uh, deposit these. It's actually something we can buy with this money. Um, we're going to go to the top door up here. This is the bomb shop, as you can tell. Bomb shop. So, uh, let's head on in. And we can talk to the very strange-looking man at the counter here. I don't know what this guy... I don't know what his deal is. Why he thinks that looks cool at all, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna head over to the right, to the right, and find the big bomb bag for 90 rupees. Yeah, that's why I went ahead and got that. Um, so let's go ahead and buy this, and this is kind of like our first little equipment upgrade, I guess. Uh, I think this will only be available if you saved the old lady and got the blast mask. So, you know, if you saved her but then reset time, you gotta save her again before you can buy it. So just make sure you do that in the same cycle you wanna buy it, pretty much. Uh, but now that we've got that, we're left with a measly 9 rupees, which kind of sucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and deposit the 9 rupees that we have. And yeah, this always takes forever. So, how much? Nine. That's it? That ain't nothing at all, big spender. Oh yeah, thanks. Okay, so now we're gonna go get the other chest, actually. Um, we need to actually go back into East Clock Town again. Yeah, both of them are kind of in that area. This one might be a little bit trickier to get to, and you do actually need uh, either the blast mask or bombs to get it. So, keep that in mind. It's also about to turn morning, but that really doesn't matter to me too much. Alright, so what we're going to do is head back up to the northeast and go into the bomber's hideout here. Then once we get inside, we're going to head on down, and this time, instead of going straight through, we're actually going to head back to the left. You can kind of see there's an opening this way. Uh, we can swim in the water here. Make sure to stay um, against either side. I prefer the left side, because we're going to have to get off because of that guy right there. Uh, it was very easy for him to catch you by surprise. And once we get here, you can see this wall kind of has a crack in it. So uh, we have bombs, but in this case, I'm just going to use the blast mask because it's free, and you can shield the damage. So you do that, that'll blow up the wall. The chest is behind it. And this also contains 100 rupees. So like I said, both of, both of those chests will respawn every time you reset time. So um, if you need to get money quickly, that's a very good way to do it. But uh, Anyway, now that we've got that, we're going to head back, and I'm pretty much just going to stick this all in the bank. Um, you actually get a reward for depositing 200 rupees, which means I kind of need to scrounge around and find a few more. Um, but we'll probably just you know do that throughout the course of the side quest, so it's really no big deal. Uh, but we are going to uh, go back to West Clock Town and deposit. I probably won't make you watch that, but um, I'm going to do it nonetheless. So, um, yeah, actually, okay, so let's do it. All right, so we're back. I've deposited my 99 rupees and also picked up 15 more. Just so we can go ahead and show this off, we're going to deposit. And he's going to take a look at us again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got 185 in there right now. So once we deposit these 15... Seriously, that's a lot. Alright, little guy, now I've got a total of 200 rupees from you. 
What's this? You've already saved up 200 rupees? Well, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. And for that, we get the adult wallet, which holds a lot of rupees. Now you can carry up to 200 of them, so I guess it works out. It makes sense as a prize. See, doesn't it hold more than your old one? Fill it up and bring it all into deposit. So yeah, there we go. We've gotten our um, adult wallet for bringing in that money, which is pretty good. But um, there's also actually a heart piece you can get from this guy that is a real pain, because guess how many rupees you have to save up? Um, let's see, I think I hear 500, 1,000, 1,500. Well, you're all wrong because it takes 5,000. That's right, you gotta deposit 5,000 rupees with this guy. So that's gonna take a little while. I'm definitely not gonna do that right now, but I'll probably sort of grind it up off screen. So, whoa, holy crap, that, <laughs> that, that kind of freaked me out for a minute. Um, okay, yeah, so like I said, I'm probably gonna grind it up off screen sort of like in between weeks, which means you're not gonna see it for a while, but, um, yeah. So I'll be taking care of that on my own time and not yours. But um, anyway, now that we have done that, actually, um, I'm going to reset time because there's one little sort of side quest game we can play um, that we need to actually do on all three days. There are quite a few of them around Clock Town, but um, this one we can go ahead and do now, so I am going to go ahead and do that. Oh man, I didn't expect this scene to be in that little small window. You know, wouldn't it be hilarious if it glitched and then, like, the entire game from here on out was in that small little window? Okay, well, it looks like it's back to normal. Oh, well, it was worth a shot, though. <laughs> okay, so we're back to the first day once again. And, of course, there's no real big ado to it this time. Just make sure whenever you reset time, um, if you care about this kind of thing, to go ahead and play the inverted song of time. It can be easy to forget and let a lot of hours sort of slip by before you notice, but it's good to just go ahead and get in a habit of doing it. Alright, so this time we're going to head back up into North Clock Town once again. Um, it's kind of funny, for being such a small little area, it actually has a lot of stuff we can do, so... <laughs> oh, wait, actually, before we do this, I'm going to need to pick up some money. I can probably find enough just around here, but I'm not sure. So let's try it. Okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, wait, can we go out and go back in and have these things respawn? I need just, I just need like 10 rupees, that's really all I need. So, uh, you know, kind of sorry for wasting your time here, I guess. But, um, of course, if you want, you can also go back and get those two chests that we got before. All right, give me some more money. That'll work. All right, well, that's pretty much all we need. So, let's go ahead and come up this way. And you've also probably noticed this little fenced-in area next to the Great Fairy's uh, spring here. So, we can get in this flower and shoot straight over that way. And you just barely have enough to do it. It really looks like you don't, but you're laying right on top of the gate. Um, then we can check this sign here and find this is the Deku Scrub Playground down this hole. Okay, well, let's do it. Alright, so we drop on down and we get to meet these two Deku Scrubs and see our playing field out there, which is kind of neat. I think this guy just explains the rules. Uh, how about it? Will the young one play? Oh, well, maybe he lets you play. Alright, well, I'll play. Alright then, use this Deku Flower and have fun. Yeah, they don't really explain too much, but you kind of figure it out here. If the time it takes you to get all the rupees is faster than the current record, you get an extravagant prize. But if you fall down below just once, it's over. The best time for today's game is 1.15. Get all rupees faster than that. Okay, burrow into the Deku Flower. The game begins the moment you jump out. Right, so this is the Deku Scrub Playground, and it's known by a lot of people to be... Um, pretty difficult, to say the least. This is one of the mini games, as I mentioned before, that we've got to play um, on all three days and beat, while wow, that was really close, um, in order to get a heart piece from it. So, uh, you're going to be seeing this one quite a lot. The first one really isn't that bad. Um, the platform's moving up and down doesn't really do a whole lot to throw you off. I usually like to start from the left flower, which was probably better, but um, I thought the right guy would explain it to me, but I guess he just, you know, made me start from over there. Oh, look, I got in the flower without getting the rupee. That's kind of cool. So basically, really all you need to uh, figure out is how to uh, judge your sort of depth perception here, I guess. Um, and make sure you always kind of shoot out whenever the platform is near the top of its little path here. Um, otherwise, you could very easily not make it to the next one. And also, don't try to get greedy. 115 is actually a lot more time um, than you might think. So you don't need to worry too much. We've only got one more left, that blue rupee over there. So let's drop back into this one. Then once we get this one, it'll be over. So watch out for that one, though, because it goes up pretty high. So if you try to just run into it on the side, you might run into some problems. But there we go. We've picked it up, and it's all over. One minute, 53 hundredths of a second. Amazing. It's a new record. Take this. 
And for that, we get a purple rupee, which is pretty nice. I'll record this time, so what's your name, young one? Hmm, hmm, Link. That's a strange name for a Deku Scrub. If you can, come by again tomorrow. Yep. So as he said, we're gonna need to come by again tomorrow. Thankfully, we've got a nifty little song that will sort of speed up the process, so... Uh, we need to head on out of here, and... Pretty much just make it the next day. Okay, so it's now dawn of the second day. Awesome. So let's go back in and play it a second time. It's nice that they give you 50 rupees in between because you might actually use all of them this time around. This version of the game um, is actually probably the hardest out of all of them. So let's talk to the guy on the left this time. This is where I like starting out from. Um, so it's still 10 rupees. Let's go ahead and use the Deku Flower. Uh, the time it takes you to get all the rupees, blah, blah, blah. And the best time is still 115. Alright, so this time, as you can see, we're going to have to hit these platforms that are kind of going around in uh, circles here. And this is probably really hard um, in order to sort of, like, figure out where you're at, like how much you have to leave the thing by. So um, it can be very easy to either go too early or too late and just fall straight down. So it's uh, probably a good idea to sit here and sort of wait on the same uh, level, sort of, in order to make sure that you get all of them um, without, you know, having to worry about too much other than your vertical positioning, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and wait on this middle one again. I think, yeah, we still got that one on the outside. So if I'm going to lead it, I'm going to have to go over here. Right like that. Awesome. That went pretty well. Okay, it's all over. 4478, amazing, it's a new record. Take this. And we get another 50 rupees. Hey, cool. Alright, so uh, that beats the game on the second day. Now we're going to have to once again go back up and come back on day three. Okay, so here we are on the final day, as you can see at the bottom. So let's beat this game one more time and then claim our final reward. Hey man, I'm back. Good luck, young Link. Now you can try for three straight days of new records. Alright, so let's do it. Blah, 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 same speech. I think this time, though, yeah, they give you one more second for some reason. I have no idea why that is, but whatever. All right, so let's start this one. And day number three is um, pretty much, like I said before, not as bad as day number two. There are still some going around in circles, but there's also um, one section of them that are just going up and down, like on day one. So um, that kind of gives you a little bit of a rest, actually, and you don't have to worry about near as much. So that, that kind of helps you a little bit, I think. Oh, this is kind of risky. I don't know if I'm going to get this. Oh, yep. See that? I, I did that, like, completely wrong. I should have just went straight through. But Okay, well, there you go. I missed one time, at least. So, All right, so, uh, yep, I missed up once again. I got pretty far into that one, though, so I think I'm just going to cut that attempt out. And we'll just uh, start up with this one, and hopefully we'll make it this time, and I won't cut this out, too. But... Okay, so this is attempt number three, then. Let's see if we can grab this blue one real quick. Oh, there we go. That was kind of close. All right, then we can go over and get this one. And pretty much just go from uh, outside to inside and then back to the outside again. Let's wait for this to get up here. There we go. All right, this one's pretty easy because you can just sit here and wait for the next one to come underneath you. Right there. All right, so now let's go get this one. And all right, so we gotta wait for this next one. Let's go ahead and shoot off here. And there we go. That'll do it. I went pretty quickly, actually. I wasn't looking at my time, but it felt like it went really quick. Uh, yeah, 3665. Amazing. A new record. And for three days straight? Wow, we've been had. Well, you're obviously a pro, and pros can't play here. Take this and don't come back. <laughs> awesome. So we got another piece of heart, that's three pieces, one more to get yet another heart container. Such a youthful face, but we were really dealing with a fierce competitor. And now, for every time we come back, ah, it's Link Hyde! <laughs> I love winning a game so much that all they can say is, take this and don't come back. <laughs> that's always a good thing, but... Okay, so there we go, that's it for the Deku Scrub game. Uh, now it's the final day, so you know, we can't really do a whole lot, I don't even know why I'm still kind of messing around here. It's laying on Jim. Oh, I kind of missed a little bit, but... 
Yep, so for now we're pretty much just going to reset time, and uh, it's at this point, actually, on this cycle, that we're actually going to start going out of Clock Town. So, uh, we're pretty much getting about that time to end here, so uh, it's going to have to wait till next time, but... Um, if it makes you feel any better and you're tired of seeing Clock Town, we're about to leave here soon, so... Um, that's definitely good news, I think. Alright, so now that we've gone back to the first day... Let's wait for the screen, there it is. This seems like a pretty good time to me to just go ahead and wrap this up. I feel like I really didn't do much in this video at all. It, it seems like it shouldn't be this late. Oh, <laughs> crap, stupid dog. Um, Alright, anyway, let's let's turtle here, and uh, <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and wrap this up, and we will uh, meet back next time. And then, like I said, we're going to finally head out of Clock Town, so it sounds fun. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.